Hey friends, we have arrived in Mulahe. We have just parked in our spot at our favorite RV park in town called Don Chano's. It is amazing here. It's like a little tropical paradise in the middle of the city of Mulahe. We wanted to show you how we set up and break down our camper for travel. So we're going to go over that in this video today and then just how we live out of here. We are going to spend around three weeks here at Don Chano's. We normally don't stay in a place that long, but we really love it here and we need to work. So that's what we're going to do. We might even stay four weeks. We'll see how it goes. So now we are going to clean up the inside of the camper and also put everything out outside to set up camp. And then at the end of the day today, it is Thanksgiving. So we are gonna go have tacos at Danny's. That is our tradition. The last time we were here, we were here Thanksgiving 2019 and that's where we celebrated it. And we're gonna keep that tradition alive and we will take you along with us. Thanks for tuning in and watching this video. If you haven't already done so, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you can see all of our upcoming videos on our Baja series. When it's moving day or travel day, we really don't have much that we have to pack up. Most of our belongings in here have their own place, which is wonderful. When we were in our truck camper, we just had stuff everywhere and it took quite a bit to put everything away to get ready for travel day so what i really love about this camper is that almost everything has a home there are a few things that we do have to move and i'll show you what that is most of the stuff that moves around when we travel we just throw on our bed which is a mess <laughs> so like chris's guitar we don't formally have a home for so when we travel we put it up on the bed so we take that down and then I have a couple of decor pieces that go on our desk that I move to the bed just so they don't bounce around and fall off. And then I move those up front. These just lost a letter. And the guitar we normally put in the front seat one of the front seats that goes there the pillows we've had down just because of heavy what kind of pillows are those Chris calls them throwaway pillows but I love the pillows I think they look great and they also give us a nice back support from when we're chilling on the couch. I would trade my back support for no throwaway pillows. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. I would, just get, I would just get my pillow from my bed. He uses these. <laughs> we put our pillows out. This is Evie's, pretty much Evers' couch right here. So this is why we have the towels down. <laughs> this is her... She doesn't move for nothing. <laughs> On travel days, we have this bin here that holds just our knickknacks. It holds our little teapot here. And we put that down in the sink. It fits in the sink perfectly so that when we are traveling, it goes in here. And when we're not and we're set up, we just put it behind the sink. And then also we put paper towels down because it does kind of tend to stay wet on the bottom. We put that here just so we have room to put dishes in the sink and we can wash our hands. I also have my little, uh, my little shelf. I don't hang it up. I just leave it sitting on the counter, but it holds like my sugar. It holds our butter that we leave out. And then I have two cutting boards that when we're traveling, I put under the couch. And when we're stationary, I pull these out and they go right in here. Our knives always stay up. Sometimes they bounce around. They've, it's never, the knives have never fallen off. So we just leave them up. The cutting board always stays up here. And uh, that's really about it. That's really all we have to move um, on travel days. And when we set up also, I forgot to mention my plants. So I do have several plants. And um, when we're traveling, I put them in the shower, that's the best place for them because they don't move around in there. So that when we're stationary for usually for more than a few days, I will pull them out and put them in their little uh, 
I guess I'll call them their little hammocks. <laughs> and I might put a few outside if the weather's nice and warm, which is, I will do that here because it is nice and warm here. And then of course there's some tidying up that we need to do. Um, we haven't cleaned in here since we left Arizona. We've camped in the desert, so there is some sand on the floor and I would like to vacuum that up. So now it's my turn. Lindsay usually handles most of the inside prep and I handle setting up outside. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go outside and I'm going to start hooking up. We're camping in a full hookup spot here in Baja, Mexico, which means we will have electricity and we have a surge protector for that. So we wanna make sure that we protect our RV. I can stick the voltmeter in and see that we have between 110 and 120 volts. And then I can also put the surge protector on there, which will definitely protect the RV. I'm also going to hook up our water. We're going to have city water, so we'll have water on demand inside the camper. Um, and that will be great for us as well. We do have sewer hookup for our black tank going out as well as our great. Uh, another big thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bikes off the bike rack in the back. And that is important because we're going to bike all over town. We love this place because it's bikeable. So I'll take the bike racks or the bikes off the bike rack. And uh, what that allows me to do is it allows me to open the back door which has all of what we call our fun stuff. So I'm gonna take out our table, I'll take out our big mat. Um, we'll start setting everything up because we're gonna be here for a while. I'm not gonna take out the paddleboard yet, but at some point in the next couple of days, we'll probably inflate the paddleboard because the Mulahe River is 200 yards away, which will be beautiful and fun to deal with. Um, I'll also set up tables and chairs. Lindsay's got a great fancy, ta or fancy chair that she likes to relax in, and I got the cheap Walmart one. Go ahead and set up camp around that. We'll have a nice outdoor patio area. We won't put our awning up yet. We might do that later on, but uh, we probably won't need our awning. We're in a really shady protected area. I'm also gonna put this vinyl cover over the front of our windshield, and that will give us the privacy without having to close off our curtains. Usually if we're just camping in a place for a day or two, Lindsay will close the curtains, and that's great. But we're gonna keep this nice and open because we'll put this on the windshield and that'll close off and make everything private for us as well. So one of the reasons that I love Mulahe so much is that it's warm, it's an oasis, and there are tons of hummingbirds. So I bought, I have a hummingbird feeder that a friend gave me that I've kept for, I had it last time we were here in, um, in Baja, and I brought it back, and now I have a, a little window hanger that suction cups to glass or whatever and I can suction and cup right to the window where we work at and I can hang the feeder and so I can watch the hummingbirds while I sit inside and work or while I sit outside under our awning and work or just hanging out and so I'm going to go ahead and start and make some hummingbird nectar. It's super easy to make. It's just four cups of water to one cup of plain white sugar and you just boil it on the stove top for a few minutes wait for it to cool and then pour into your feeder and then hang it right up and there are beautiful hummingbirds everywhere out here and i'm super excited
We are all set up here at our campsite, and now it's time to go into town and get some Thanksgiving tacos. And happy hour margarita. And a happy hour margarita. <laughs> So this is where we're having tacos. This is our favorite restaurant in all of Mulhe, Danny's Asadero. It is a tiny little restaurant, it's perfect. And we're gonna have a Thanksgiving tacos here. Happy Thanksgiving. There go. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanks for being a part of our journey. Thanks for watching this video. Liking it, leaving us a positive comment if you have any. Please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so. And uh, we will see you in the next episode. Happy Thanksgiving. Ha, ha, ha.